In our day-to-day -day lives, we often face challenges and hurdles. But perhaps the most painful and depressing experience is when we deal with the sudden and untimely death of someone close to us. How do we bring in the spiritual dimension in those most trying moments? Yes, it is natural to feel shocked or stressed when we come to know the death of someone known to us, someone related to us. But we will be able to get out of the agony in the shortest possible time. If we try to analyze and realize that death is inevitable for anything that is born. That means the impact of death will not seriously affect us or deeply affect us with the help of shastras and satsangs. We, if we ponder over death very often as a natural phenomenon, not at that particular time. First of all, we realize that our life is not actuated by us and owes its origin to that power, which is subtle and mysterious. Therefore, we realize, as we have no say in our birth, we cannot expect to have any say in our death too. Common sense says, at best we can feel that if given time and facilities, we may be able to postpone the death by the latest medical research, which is also a gift of that power. We all feel that you know, we have to be admitted in the hospital, we try to give oxygen, this and that. But we hardly realize that it is the same power that has given to us. Another attempt <coughs> is to go to our source of all sources and to gradually realize the life is given to us to work out the will of that power through us. So, as Shakespeare says, <coughs> All the world is a stage and all the men and women merely players and they have their exits and entrances. Virat Papa Swami Ramda says, when the stage manager says your time is up, you go behind the curtain. But let us know it is a play and nothing more. We are in a dharmshala where we, the travellers, stay for a while and then depart. There is nothing permanent here. In short, death is not the end, birth is not the beginning, death is a transition in our existence, not its termination. It is a coma, not a full stop. Form evolves, name changes, but the substance, you know, or the essence, which is called spirit, remains the same. Mirat Papa always keeps on harping this. The eternal has no death and the perishable cannot escape dissolution. God is the beginning and God is the end. Let us realize God as the middle also, in which we are now. Every death is a reminder, often an unwelcome warning. It's a, it's a sign. It sternly reminds us of the uncertainty and the impermanence of our earthly life. Life is too precious because it has been given to us by Him, you know, and short, that we have to set our priorities right, right now. Every death conveys to us a message. Wake up every morning, thanking the Lord for gifting us yet another day, and live every wakeful moment in His remembrance. 
this will free us from agony, stress and what not, which normally we feel when somebody departs. Hari Om.